In this video, we'll be taking a look at two NBA games happening on December 15, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two NBA NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. New Orleans Pelicans vs. Utah Jazz This Thursday, the New Orleans Pelicans will travel to Salt Lake City to take on the Utah Jazz. Tip-off will be inside the Vivint Arena. This will be the second time that these two teams have matched up this week, as the Jazz blew out the Pelicans 121-100 on Tuesday night. The New Orleans Pelicans are coming into this one after falling to the Jazz. They were horrible on both ends of the court, as they will have to show up on the defensive end if they want to challenge the Jazz on the road. The Utah Jazz is entering this matchup after dominating the Pelicans. They looked incredible on the offensive end of the court, as they shot 47.6% from the floor. Utah will have to stay hot in this one if they want to knock out the Pelicans in back-to-back -back games. The New Orleans Pelicans have been in great shape as they've won 9 of their last 11 games, but they will be hoping to bounce back in this one after getting thrashed by the Jazz in a 121-100 road loss on Tuesday. Zion Williamson led the way with 26 points, 9 rebounds and 5 assists on 10 of 16 shooting. Jonas Valence Yunus added 15 points while CJ McCollum chipped in with 14 points. As a team, the Pelicans shot just 39% from the field and a miserly 4 of 27 from the three-point line as they got off to a slow start and scored just 15 points in the second quarter before they allowed 39 points in the third quarter to fall behind by as many as 27 points. Meanwhile, the Utah Jazz have been in decent shape as they've won four of their past seven games and they will be eager to stay hot after blowing past the Pelicans on Tuesday. Malik Beasley led the way with 21 points off the bench, Laurie Markkanen and Nikhail Alexander-Walker each scored 19 points while Jard Vanderbilt chipped in with 18 points, 14 rebounds and 6 assists. As a team, the Jazz shot 47% from the field and 15 of 47 from the three-point line as they dominated the second quarter and held the Pelicans to just 15 points to take the early lead before they let loose with 39 points in the third quarter to put the game to bed early. Looking at the betting trends, the Pelicans are 4-0 against the spread in their last four games against a team with a winning record and 5-2 against the spread in their last seven games overall. The Jazz are 5-2 against the spread in their last seven games against a team with a winning record and 7-0 against the spread in their last seven games against a team above .600. Head to head, the over is 23 to 11 in the last 34 meetings overall. The Pelicans are 1 to 5 against the spread in the last 6 meetings in Utah, and the Pelicans are 1 to 4 against the spread in the last 5 meetings overall. The Pelicans are going to be a little shorthanded once again as Brandon Ingram and Jose Alvarado are both out, while the Jazz will be missing Colin Sexton and Simone Fontecchio once again. The Jazz put together an excellent game, blowing out the Pelicans 121 to 100 in their first meeting earlier in the week. They clash again, and the Jazz will not be so lucky to get Zion into the same foul trouble he had Tuesday. Utah had a 59-43 rebounding advantage and 19 offensive boards, much of the significant damage coming with Zion out of the game. Williamson is scoring a league-high 22 points per game in the paint but played just 11 minutes in the first half because of foul trouble. The Pelicans never recovered the lead they lost when he left. New Orleans is a different club this year, and they will bounce back in a big way here. The loss ended their seven-game win streak, but they are 18-9 on the year and will dominate here. The Pelicans have clearly been one of the hottest teams in the league with Williamson leading the way, and they will surely come out firing after getting stopped in their tracks on Tuesday. Plus, it's always tough to beat the same team twice in a row, so the New Orleans Pelicans to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full-game side pick. The Pelicans and Jazz have been hovering around the middle of the pack in regards to pace of play this year. The total Tuesday was set at 232.5 and the blowout win by the Jazz and subsequent benching of both team starters led that game to go well under. This will be a different game, and Zion Williamson will not have the same foul trouble he had. New Orleans could not buy an outside shot either, and I expect some of them to fall in this rematch. The total has gone over in eight of New Orleans' last 12 road games. Look for this to be a higher scoring game than earlier in the week. Over the projected total is our full game total pick.
Phoenix Suns vs. Los Angeles Clippers The Phoenix Suns and Los Angeles Clippers meet Thursday in NBA action at the Crypto.com Arena. The Phoenix Suns have lost five straight games. The Los Angeles Clippers have split their last 12 games. The Phoenix Suns have been in a real slump as they've lost six of their last seven games and they will be hoping to put a halt to a five-game slide after getting routed by the Rockets in a 111-97 road loss on Tuesday. Nickel Bridges led the way with 18 points. Chris Paul added 16 points with seven assists assists, while Landry Shamet chipped in with 13 points. As a team, the Suns shot a horrid 32% from the field and 13 of 51 from the three-point line as they struggled to find their offense and were never in the contest after managing just 35 points in a nightmare of a first half. Bridges had a night to forget as he shot just 4 of 24 from the field while Torrey Craig and Damian Lee each shot just 2 of 9 from the field. Meanwhile, the Los Angeles Clippers have been on a nice run as they've won 4 of their past 6 games and they will be aiming for a 4th straight victory after routing the shorthanded Timberwolves in a 99-88 win last night. Kawhi Leonard led the way with 19 points and 8 rebounds, Paul George tallied a triple-double of 17 points with 11 rebounds and 11 assists while Luke Kennard chipped in with 16 points off the bench. As a team, the Clippers shot just 38% from the field and 14 of 46 from the three-point line as they struggled to get going and manage just 38 points in the first half, but they didn't panic and came back strong with 61 points in the second half to make it look easy in the end. Defensively, the Clippers did a great job of forcing the Timberwolves into 17 turnovers while restricting them to just 4 of 22 from the three-point line. The Suns could be severely shorthanded once again as Devin Booker to Andre Iden are both questionable, while the Clippers will likely be without John Wall and Norman Powell once again. Like many betters, I've lost a lot of faith in the Suns over the course of this month. The Clippers have momentum on their side, home court advantage is on their side, and for once, the injury list is on their side as well. The Suns will take any win they can get to help them out of their current slump, but they're banged up and low on confidence after getting routed by the Rockets on Tuesday. The Suns are 0-5 against the spread in their last five games and 1-5 against the spread in their last six against Western Conference opponents. It's also the fourth straight road game for Phoenix following stays in New Orleans and Houston. Meanwhile, Los Angeles is 4-1 against against the spread in its last five games and 8-0 straight up in its last eight played on Thursday at home. With George coming off a triple-double performance, plus Booker and Iden in question, no choice but to fade Phoenix here. So the Los Angeles Clippers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Since Phoenix's stars are banged up, whether they play or not, I'm going with the under knowing only one team in the league scores less points per game than the Clippers. Both units rank below average in pace, and as I mentioned, Los Angeles remains a top five defense across the NBA. This series has a strong history of undares, too. Six of the last seven games where the Clippers host have fallen short of the total. Los Angeles has also finished under the total in both their last five games at home and their last five games against Phoenix overall. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.